The movie begins with Lizzo getting ready to fire her dancers. And inside Olympus, we have the baby Hercules, son of Zeus, blessed with the power of steroids. Then comes the Hades, who try to kill the baby. But baby says, around and find out as he is made fun of we find that Hades has a plan to get rid of Zeus as he wants to be the daddy of Mount Olympus hey I like it in the butt Ooh. Ah. let me help you <laughs> the wrinkly grannies tell Hades his future that he will defeat Zeus but will lose to a man riding a horsey so Hades rage and plan to kill Hercules by making him mortal but Mance really has the anger issues, bro is really beefing with a baby. As the baby sleep with the horsey, Hercules gets kidnapped and taken down to Earth La. Poor baby looks so happy. They make him drink and turn him mortal. But because the baby did not drink the last drop, the baby still kept his steroid powers. Having failed to kill Hercules, they report him as dead in fear of Hades. Then a random family decide to adopt the baby. Oh Steven, I'm so glad he's white, cause if he was black or Asian, we'd have to throw him away. And when Zeus tried to find his son, they couldn't bring him back because he was mortal. As Hercules grows up, it seemed all he could do was make trouble. Bro would catch a frisbee and destroy an entire city. This is what Asian parents call the failure. Called a freak for his superhuman strength, Hercules find out he's adopted. So he leaves and never talks to them again. He'd be like, hey, I know you raised me, gave me food and shelter and taught me everything I know, but because we're not blood related, I'm gonna go find my daddy Zeus. And they're like, it's okay, we still love you. Hercules then finds a temple, prays, and then ends up talking to Zeus. And this right here is what we call the pussy. Turns out Hercules can only come back into Mount Olympus once he becomes a true hero, but until then, he isn't allowed because he is mortal. Zeus then says he has no idea who made him mortal, but it's like, what other god out there can make gods not mortal? I'm not saying you should just assume it's Hades, but to say you have no idea is crazy. He then gets a horsey and is told to find a man with donkey legs. Once finding the donkey legs, he decides to train Hercules to become a hero after getting dominated by daddy Zeus. Yo, Disney was hella wild for this. Hercules trains and trains to get the discipline and now he look like the full steroid user finally ready to prove he is not the failure on his way to Thebes we see the lady captured by a roided up smeagol you all you think I'm lying oh hell no bro then tries to square up he gets the bitch slap but uses the headbutt to knock him out we are then introduced to Meg as Hercules takes interest to. But he has no game or the riz. Couldn't even ask for the fried rice, Aya. So she just thanks him and leaves. Poor Hercules, my boy is a straight simp. Willing to risk it all for a girl he met for five minutes. We then find out that Meg is working for Hades. When Hades asks Meg why steroid Smeagol didn't join his team, he then finds out that Hercules is still alive and decides to create a plan to kill him. Hercules then arrives to Thebes, a town fed up with monsters and destruction, desperately in need of a hero. Hercules tries to help but nobody believes him nor gives him a chance la. Hey, why you got pubes on your chin, boy? Pubes on my chin? You wanna see my pubes, boy? Then Meg comes and asks Hercules for help, claiming two boys are stuck and might die from a rock slide. Hercules listens and goes to save the boys. I just realized the old Disney movies do not care about consent. Hercules literally just grabs her like whatever and could have taken her anywhere. For all we know, if he wasn't a good dude, he could have just dead ass kidnapped and got away with it. Like who's gonna stop him? Hercules then saves the boys, but ultimately we find out that the boys and Meg were also working together to help Hades kill Hercules. So the monster comes out and he fights and gets eaten. But then Hercules cuts his face off. So bro then just grows three more heads. And the more heads Hercules cuts, the more heads that comes out. Damn, I wish I got head from that to make me come. Hey yo. Horsey then gets beat, steroid man falls, and gets pinned to the wall. Damn, is this a Disney movie or 50 Shades of Grey? I'd love to get pinned down on the wall and get head. What? He then smashes the cliff of rocks, killing the heads and taking Hercules. With people thinking he's dead, Hades rejoices, but bro goes, psych, I'm the main character. The people celebrate as Hercules gains their respect. Hades gets mad and burns his minions, which is ironic since Hades essentially made Hercules a hero with his plan getting backfired. And no matter what Hades threw at him, it only helped Hercules get more fame and notoriety. The respect from the public, money and wealth, a statue, and his very own merchandise collection. As Lizzo continues to abuse her dances, Hades is fuming. 
Damn, that's the face I make when I take a dump. Aya. Hades then uses Meg to seduce Hercules and find his weakness in return for her freedom. As we find Meg sold her soul to Hades to save an ex-lover only for the ex-lover to leave her and find somebody else. As Hercules brags to Zeus about his achievements, he's told fame and money doesn't make you a true hero and can join Mount Olympus once he becomes a true hero. Hercules then goes on a roid rage and kills Scar from Lion King. With donkey legs distracted, Meg uses her wrist to raise up Hercules and find out his weakness. So she takes him on a date and shows interest in him and pulls all the little tricks to make him fold. But the longer the conversation went, Meg finds out he has no weakness and he is actually genuine that cares about her. So they go for the kiss but get the cock block. So he give her the rose and a peck. For context, this is literally their first date together and from one date, bro thinks he found the love of his life. And Meg who refused to believe in love in the past who doesn't even want to get hurt now says she's in love from one day. Really? Bro is down bad horrendously. Meg breathes in rub again. Hades then checks on Meg, but Meg doesn't want to help Hades anymore. And Donkey Legs find out Meg is working for the Hades. But Hercules is in rub. Bro is a great one simp. Even the horsey suddenly sees the My Little Pony and went to get some action. But then Donkey Legs be like, She's a hoe! Stop playing, man. She don't love you. Stop it. She's had more trains than Logan Paul's wife. No! Phil then quits and Hades appears, asking to have Hercules lose his strength for a day and in return free Meg. Hercules accepts then loses his power and Hades gets his revenge. He reveals Meg has been working for him all along, that it was a setup to try to get him killed la. Nah but I didn't like the fact that Meg started crying. Like you know what you signed up for by helping Hades and making Hercules fall in love with you while playing with his feelings but you're the one crying? Hades then frees the titans to attack Susla. The titans then reap the destruction stronger than the Asian mother getting the report card as the gods are under attack. Oh my gosh, here daddy Zeus. Zeus attacks but all the other gods get sucked in as Zeus gets the gang banged and gets defeated. A cyclops then wreaks havoc but Hercules chooses to fight. Meg tries to stop him but Hercules is now a misogynist that will live the rest of his life hating woman. I believe this movie teaches misogynists are not born but that they are made. Thank you Meg. As Hercules gets wrecked, Meg frees the horsey and convinces donkey legs to help Hercules. I swear Meg is a master manipulator at this point just convincing anybody to do whatever she wants. So with the help of donkey legs, Hercules defeats the Cyclops. Meg then decides to redeem herself and saves Hercules. Damn, I didn't know she was over 2 meters, god damn. Hercules gets his powers back at the cost of Meg's life. So bro goes on a roid rage to beat Hades. Meanwhile all gods are enslaved as Hades rules all of Mount Olympus. Hercules then frees all the gods including Zeus. Then captures all the titans and destroys them for good. But when Hercules gets back, Meg is dead and it's just too late. Wait, why does Phil look like such a cutie? Hercules then finds Hades to make a deal to bring Meg back to life. Hades then agrees if Hercules can bring her soul back from the underworld, she will live again. But this was another trick to get Hercules to die by the time he reaches her. But at that point, Hercules cannot die and becomes a god for committing the act of a true hero. With Hades in rage, he gets a bop and an override to the underworld. Hercules then brings Meg back to life and gets a ride to Mount Olympus as they are greeted by the gods. Zeus tells him it's now his home as he is respected by the other gods. Meg then gets sad knowing she can't have him. But Hercules is willing to lose his god status and immortality to live a life with Meg. And Zeus gets all confused like, Damn, my son's a simp. I cheat on my wife and you're willing to be mortal for a chick that played and used you at one point? Haven't you only met her like three times like we went on one date? So bro becomes mortal. Lizzo abuses her dancers. Donkey legs get some. Until we find that Hercules didn't sign a prenup and loses half his shit in the divorce as Meg goes and finds a new man. And that my friends is the story of Andrew Tate. The end.